And the meaning of the shloka in English is encompassing the energies of universe, Varun, Agni, Water and Earth, the Sun, manifesting an amalgam of the elemental forces through its rays. Bright sunshine dispelling all darkness, the Sun, the moving spirit of the cosmos. We bow before the mighty Sun energizing the elements of the eternal sources of power. Hello and welcome to this class of National Institute of Open Schooling. Today our topic is green energy or new or renewable sources of energy. Before I get into the details of the topic, I would like to show you a small film on this topic. This will help you to understand the subject of new and renewable sources of energy in a better way. Yes, India is developing by leaps and bounds. The sources of energy behind this phenomenal growth have been the conventional sources of energy like oil, coal and natural gas. But when we use fossil fuels, coal or oil, we are using the energy of the sun trapped by plants millions of years ago. These resources took millions of years to be formed. And are being consumed faster than they can be. These are limited resources and will not last forever. Oil may exhaust in another 46 years gas in about 65 years and coal in approximately 119 years. Conservation of these resources has become a top priority today. Renewable energy system converts the energy found in sun, wind, water, sea waves, geothermal heat or biomass to a form we can use such as heat or electricity. The term renewable energy is also called green or free energy. In this program, we shall focus on what these non-conventional energies are, what are their applications, their potential and their geographical location. Firstly, solar energy. Solar energy is the most readily available and free source of energy. It is estimated that solar energy equivalent to over 15,000 times the world's annual energy consumption reaches the earth over a period of one year. India receives so much solar energy that it is sufficient to set up 20 megawatt solar power plant per square kilometer of its land area. Solar energy can be utilized through two different ways as solar thermal or as solar electric that is solar photovoltaic. To understand solar thermal we mean that solar energy can be converted into thermal energy with the help of solar collectors and receivers known as solar thermal devices. Most solar water heating systems have two main parts a solar collector and a storage tank. The most common collector is called a flat plate collector. Consists of a thin, flat, rectangular box with a transparent cover that faces the sun. Mounted on the roof of a building, small tubes run through the box and carry the water to be heated. Installations of solar water heaters has been made essential by the law in some metros. Now we shall learn about solar cooker. Solar cooker is a device which uses solar energy for cooking and thus saves fossil fuels, fuel wood 
and electrical energy to a large extent. However, it can only supplement the cooking fuel and not replace it totally. It is a simple cooking unit, ideal for domestic cooking all through the year, except during the monsoon season, cloudy days and winter months. The box type solar cookers with a single reflecting mirror have proved immensely popular in rural and semi-urban areas where women spend considerable time for collecting firewood. A family-sized solar cooker is sufficient to cook food for four to five persons. It saves about three to four cylinders of LPG every year or a very large quantity of coal or wood. The life of this cooker is up to 15 years. This cooker costs around rupees 1000 after allowing for subsidy. Solar cookers are widely available in the market. There are many families who use solar cookers as the primary mean for cooking. Food cooked in a solar cooker is nutritious and uses very little oil to cook, thus healthier too. A community type parabolic concentrating solar cooker developed by ULOG Group of Switzerland this cooker costs about rupees 50,000 and can fry, bake and roast food. Unique in India is the solar steam cooking system installed at Brahma Kumar's ashram at Mount Abu. This system generates 500 kgs of steam which is enough to cook two meals for 500 people. More than 1,000 people can get cooked food from this system within an hour. Now let us understand how the sun generates electricity or the solar electricity generation solar photovoltaic or PV. Photovoltaic is the technical term for solar electric. Photo means light and voltaic means electric. These PV cells release electrons when exposed to light. The silicon cell is covered with a grid of metal that directs the electrons to flow in a path to create an electric current. This current is guided into a wire that is connected to a battery or DC appliance. Some applications for PV systems include lighting for commercial buildings, street lighting, rural and village lighting and many more. Solar electric power systems can offer protection during extended power failures. Solar PV systems are found to be economical, especially in the hilly and far-flung areas. And now let us take up wind energy. Wind energy basically aims to harness wind power to produce electricity. The kinetic energy of the wind is converted to electrical energy. Wind power in form of windmills has its origin in Holland. Nowadays, wind power is harnessed to generate electricity on a larger scale and with better technology. What is wind energy technology? The wind turns the blades of a windmill-like machine. The rotating blades turn the shaft to which they are attached. The turning shaft typically can either power a pump or turn a generator, which produces electricity. The amount of energy produced by a wind machine depends upon the wind speed and the size of the blades in the machine. Wind energy is environment friendly and is a permanent shield against ever-increasing power prices. It is also the cheapest source of electrical energy because its operation and maintenance costs are low. India has been rated as one of the most promising countries for wind power development with an estimated potential of 50,000 megawatts. The states where this wind energy was produced were Andhra Pradesh, Gujarat, Karnataka, Kerala, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Rajasthan, Tamil Nadu, Orissa, Lakshadweep, 
एंडमान एंड निकोबार आइलैंड्स, उत्तर प्रदेश जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एंड वेस्ट बंगाल नाउ वी टेक अ बायो एनर्जी बायोमास इट इज वन ऑफ द ओल्डेस्ट एंड वेल स्टैब्लिश एनर्जी सोर्सेस इन द वर्ल्ड Biomass refers to biological material grown for use as biofuel. There are five basic categories of material: virgin wood from forestry, arboricultural activities, or from wood processing. Biomass, it is one of the oldest and well-established energy sources in the world. Let's take up biogas now. Biogas technology provides as an alternate source of energy in rural India and meets the basic need for cooking fuel in rural areas. It can be used directly in cooking thus reducing the demand for LPG, coal and firewood. In rural areas, biogas is popular by the name gobar gas mainly due to the use of animal dung for its production biogas is a clean and efficient fuel biogas is a safe fuel for cooking and lighting the slurry formed is usable as high grade manure there are more than 4.19 million family size biogas plants in india community biogas plant baba ai singh riarki college situated at village tugalwada district gurdaspur is a remarkable example of use of biogas for community cooking with nearly 40 cattle and nearly 5000 students overall and approximately 2000 hostlers this institution has a community based biogas plant in which biogas production units are placed in series This helps in reduction of organic load at each step and production of biogas. The school has a requirement of 8 LPG cylinders per day for cooking purposes. Today, most of the requirement of the day is being met by the biogas plants. The outflow at the last biogas plant is already fed to the fields of school where wheat and rice is grown for the consumption of the students. Now we turn to geothermal energy. Geothermal energy is a domestic energy resource with cost efficiency, reliability, environmental advantages over conventional energy sources it contributes both to energy supply with electrical power generation and direct heat uses for generation of electricity hot water is brought from the underground reservoir to the surface through production wells the steam is separated from the liquid and fed to a turbine engine which turns a generator in india There are nearly 400 thermal springs distributed in seven geothermal regions. These provinces include Manikaran in Himachal Pradesh, Sohna in Haryana, Bakreshwar Tantloi in West Bengal, Singhbhum in Bihar, Godavari in Andhra Pradesh, and Kambe in Gujarat. These springs are perennial and their surface temperature ranges from 37 to 90 degrees Celsius. The most promising of these is in Puga Valley in Ladakh. The estimated potential for geothermal energy in India is about 10000 megawatts per year. Students after geothermal 
we shall now take up hydro energy. The potential energy of falling water captured and converted into mechanical energy by water wheels powered the start of industrial revolution. Wherever sufficient head or change in elevation could be found, rivers and streams were dammed and mills were built. Water under pressure flows through a turbine, which makes it to spin. The turbine is connected to a generator, which produces electricity. In India, the potential of small hydropower is estimated about 15,000 megawatts. Hilly regions of India, particularly the Himalayan belts, are endowed with rich hydro resources with tremendous potential. The central government has launched a promotional scheme for portable micro hydro sets for these areas. These sets are small, compact and lightweight. They have almost zero maintenance cost and can provide electricity to small cluster of villages. They are ideal substitutes for diesel sets run in those areas at high generation cost. Hydropower is a clean, domestic and renewable source of energy. One-time investment is required to set up a hydropower station. Water is not polluted during the production of electricity and it can be reused for other purposes. And now, the fifth source of non-conventional energy, the tidal energy. Tidal electricity generation involves the construction of a barrage across an estuary to block the incoming and outgoing tide. The head of water is then used to drive turbines to generate electricity from the elevated water in the basin, as in hydroelectric dams. India has the world's largest program for renewable energy. Several renewable energy technologies have been developed and deployed in cities and villages across India. A Ministry of New and Renewable Energy or MNRE was created in 1992 for all matters related to non-conventional or renewable energy. Government of India have also created Renewable Energy Development Agency Limited IREDA to assist and provide financial assistance in the form of subsidy and low interest loan for renewable energy projects. Not only will we never run out of renewable energy sources, but they are much better for the environment as they don't cause pollution. That means the sooner we switch to using renewable energy, the cleaner the air we breathe and water we drink will become. This in turn will lead to healthier lungs and stronger bodies. Using renewable energy sources to power homes and businesses will soon become a norm. Many researchers believe that by the year 2030, most people will be using alternative energy sources to heat their houses or drive their cars or just watch television. We hope you all got a fair idea of energy scenario in general, in reference to India and what's available to us as new and renewable energy sources today. We are energy sufficient when the fossil fuels run out. The new and renewable sources of energy are wind, solar, hydro, biomass and tidal waves. The natural world around us shows the way to relief. If there is any one thing that people do have in common, it is the gift of sunlight. If the sun were not hung so high, 
someone would have claimed it long ago. Thank you all and good day. This is cool life. No fear, no tension. This is less, Kangle. But man, it's been an accident. You also have to be in the middle of the world. Life is one time for one time. Enjoy! Where are you going? Do you have an economics class? Hey, what will you do without me? I won't understand this chapter. Go. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, Oh, bagla bhagat! Yaar, tu to rahega mecha kuhye ka medak. Lekin bhaiya, hum to dunia mein full lash karenge. Yaar, tu samasya kiyo nahi yaar? Kya? Akl mujhe bhi hai. मुझे पता है कि हमें नौकरियां करनी होंगी। आज तक जिंदगी पढ़ते-पढ़ते गुजर गई। दो साल बाद सर पे नौकरी की तलवार टंगी होगी, और हम कौन सा लाट कलेक्टर बन जाएंगे? बस गुजारे लायक तनखा होगी। इस दुनिया में इतनी मौज है, मस्ती है, ऐश है, उसमें हमारा हिस्सा कहाँ है? क्या? Take it, take it. Chachi Ji, you work in the morning at night. Do you not get tired? Yes, I get tired, son. But what do I do? Now, the Surinder will be able to come and come and come. What do you do? It's like that. It's worth it. 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 Oh, my wife came to me. I'll wear the clothes of the sun. The clothes of the sun. Yes. अरे वो मोबाइल क्या देख रहा है तुझे क्या मालूम मैंने एक एक पैसा जोर जोर कर अपनी बहू के लिए सोने की चूड़िया बनवाई है मनीष बेटा ये तेरा दोस्त है इस तरह इसका ध्यान रख इसको तो इसने तेरे साथ पार कर ही लिया है ले ले सागौन ले ले नहीं नहीं क्यों अरे ले भी ले अबे यार वहाँ हमारे ग्रुप का क्रेडिट कार्ड चलता है क्रेडिट को हिंदी में कर्ज कहते हैं तुझे नहीं पता मेरा ग्रुप बहुत दिलदार है सौ सौ के नोट तो वो कुछ समझते ही नहीं जिस दिन तुझे उन्हें दावत देनी पड़ेगी तब क्या करेगा वो तुझे फ्री में देकर आदत बिगाड़ रहे हैं मर्द बच्चा हूं मैं तो बस जरा मस्ती के लिए आदत वादत में नहीं डालूंगा जब चाहे यू छोड़ दूंगा तो अभी छोड़ दे क्या हुआ मना कर गया मैं तो पहले ही कह रहा था गोली मारो उसे इसकी भेजे में बात नहीं आएगी इसकी किस्मत में खुश रहना नहीं लिखा है
चाची जी सब्र कीजिए सब ठीक हो जाएगा कैसे सब्र करूं बेटे कितनी मुश्किल से अकेली ने मैंने ये बेटा पाला है और ये बेटा मुझे ये रंग दिखा रहा है अरे और मैं तो किसी से कह भी नहीं सकती न जाने कैसे कैसे पैसे जुटा के मैंने उसकी बहू के लिए चूड़िया बनवाई थी बहू के लिए बनवाई थी ना पेटर ने ले ली तो क्या आफत आ गई अरे 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 जा एक तो चोरी ऊपर से सीना धोरी मुझे अपने घर में बाहरी लोगों का दखल पसंद नहीं आप जाओ अरे अरे आ सकते नाशी तुम आ जा मनीष मनीष बेटे तू इसकी बातों का बुरा मत मानना चाची जी बहुत बुरा किया तूने तूने बहुत बुरा किया डॉक्टर साहब मेरे बच्चों को बचा लीजिए आप थोड़ा सबर रखिए चिंता ना करिए हम अपनी तरफ से पूरी कोशिश करेंगे सुरेंद्र हम आपको पंद्रह दिन के लिए इस सेंटर पे रखेंगे दवाइयों एवं बातचीत द्वारा हम आपका इलाज करेंगे पर एक बात का ध्यान रखना होगा दवाइयों से इस आदत से छुटकारा नहीं मिल सकता इसके लिए आपको अपना आत्मविश्वास बढ़ाना होगा और अगर इस आदत को छोड़ने की तुम मन में ठान लो तो दुनिया की कोई ताकत आपको रोक नहीं सकती इस बात को हमेशा ध्यान रखना प्रकाशित करने राहों को आलोकित करने हम अपना दीपक स्वयं बने हम अपना रास्ता स्वयं चुने कभी पढ़े हम कहीं पढ़े वे विषय की लोच 